My name is Susie Loper. I'm a researcher and curriculum developer at the Lawrence Hall of Science at UC Berkeley. And I've been collaborating with Kate McNeil from Boston College on the Argumentation Toolkit project. Hey, Kate. Hi, Susie. It's good to see you. Did you get a chance to take a look at the updates we made to the Argumentation Toolkit? I did get a chance to look at that. I think they look really great. The Argumentation Toolkit is a website that we've created. It's freely available for anyone to use and it includes a lot of resources to support teachers in learning about scientific argumentation. We have a tab where teachers can access videos and other resources related to argumentation. They can find videos that help them see what it looks like in the classroom, what are some of the strategies that they can use, what are some kinds of activities that they can engage their students in. My name is Maria Gonzalez-Howard. I am a researcher at Boston College working with Kate McNeil on the development of the Argumentation Toolkit. So to broaden the impact of the Argumentation Toolkit, we have created um, teacher learning modules, which are meant to support both pre- and in-service teachers in learning to integrate argumentation into their classroom instruction. So the Argumentation website includes many different tabs, one of which is called Teacher Learning. And that tab will take you to the teacher learning modules, of which there are currently four. Our teacher learning modules have been used in many different ways. For instance, I've used them to carry out whole group professional developments. Thank you so much for being here today. What we'll be showcasing today is a free multimedia resource that can be used to support pre- and in-service teachers. So in the professional development session, teachers engaged in an evidence gradient tool, which is a really great activity that can be broken up into different steps. First, teachers can work with their peers and their colleagues um, in considering how particular pieces of evidence might be of higher or lower quality. So we're looking at Wikipedia has the source and putting it, uh, leveling it. I'm going to say it's a medium. Secondly, we gave teachers a particular claim and they sorted the cards that they had considered of higher quality evidence according to their relevancy to that claim. But this time you're ranking the evidence cards in terms of how well do they support the claim. Finally, we had teachers come back together and we had a whole group discussion about how they think that this particular activity would go with their students, what kinds of challenges they might experience. Yes. It seems like a really credible source, but when you read about how it didn't really actually talk about the American Eel, yeah. it's not really credible to put that. We are hearing all the time from district leaders and teacher educators that they need materials like this. So we're really happy that we're able to start meeting this need and we hope that we can continue to expand these resources and make them even more useful and accessible to teachers and teacher educators and then of course ultimately to their students.